So, I'm on my way to the airport, I'm about to climb into a jet, and that got me thinking about Top Gun. Let's talk about where to watch Top Gun, or how to Top Gun your home cinema. Okay, so as we all know, Top Gun 2, Top Gun Maverick has been released, and it's the talk of the town. The question is, you know, and, and the chatter online is where should I watch it? Um, should I watch it at the cinema? Should I stream it? Should I wait for the disc? What should I do? And if I go to the cinemas, what cinema should I go to? Now we've got a video coming up that's going to talk exactly about the state of technology of cinemas around the world, and we're going to be talking to a, an expert in the USA about this. But I'm going to give you a brief rundown, and then we're going to talk about how home cinema compares, and roughly what you can do to Top Gun your cinema to enjoy Hollywood blockbusters. Okay, so first of all, cinemas. The state of cinema at, at the entry level hasn't changed a lot. Um, 14 foot lambits on the screen, screen format's pretty much the, sh the same. It's, it's what they call uh, a flat screen format, and then that can be changed around to suit the movie, and that's about it. Then it went up to Dolby Atmos cinemas, and they added Atmos speakers, picture didn't really change. Then we went to IMAX, bigger screen, more light on the screen. So now we're talking about 20 foot lambits on the screen roughly, so 50% increase. Then we went to Dolby Cinemas. Now these are the creme de la creme of cinemas. We're talking about 30 foot lambits on the screen. We're talking about Dolby Atmos. We're talking about everything that makes a movie great. And they are your reference cinemas. If, if you really want to go and experience the best of the best, it's a Dolby Cinema, you know. And so, so those are your choices. If you haven't got a Dolby Cinema near you, the next one is IMAX. If you haven't got an IMAX, a Dolby Atmos Cinema. And if you haven't got that, well, you're stuck with your local cinema. Okay. So then the question is, how does home cinema compare with commercial cinema? Well, these days, if you've bought a projector in the last couple of years, you've got 4K, you've got HDR, and you've probably got at least 2,000 lumens of, of output. Now, if you've done your calculations properly and you've got a, a decent screen size with a decent projector, but not too big, you should be sitting between 20 and 30 foot lambits. This means that if you've got 4K, HDR, and 20 to 30 foot lambits, you're competing with the Dolby Reference Class Cinema. Providing everything's set up. Now, not all projector manufacturers tell the truth, and a lot of projectors don't actually reach all of the color space that we need. Now, I've got a video which I'll pop up here. Have a look at this. This is all about color space. You'll see what I mean. I'm not saying marketing departments exaggerate things much. All right. So, in essence, if you've got a projection system at home, then you are, you know, somewhere approaching that of a, a really high end cinema. If you've got a TV, well, you've got plenty of light and I'm assuming you've either got a 4K or an 8K TV and, you know, anything you watch on that is going to look spectacular, but it's not going to be as big, of course. So, you know, if you've got a custom-built private home cinema, you are going to far exceed anything and perhaps even exceed a Dolby Reference Class cinema. Um, and that can certainly be done. You know, we can now do better private home cinemas than you can commercial cinemas. That's just a fact. The average home cinema or the average TV owner, what can you do to top gun your room? Well, let's go through the main points. First of all, control the environment. Not everybody can paint their room black, but if you can, that's great. You want as, less, as little reflective light in the room as you can possibly achieve. All right, so what's the next step? Get rid of all the exit door effects, even in cinemas, that darned exit sign that glows at you through the movie. That's why it's called the exit door effect. Get rid of lights, clocks, uh, all sorts of indicators, uh, cover up all the lights in your room, darken your room, and that's the first thing. Get rid of ambient light. Very, very important if you've got a projector. Still important if you've got a TV. What you don't want to do is have distractions. So just think about that. Get, you know, think about a cinema. It's a darkened environment. The only thing lit up is the screen and the exit sign, and that's it. So think about how a cinema is and get your room the same way. Darken and control the environment. Get rid of noises, background noises, and flashing lights, all the exit door effects, and maybe get rid of annoying people. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is make sure that your picture's calibrated. Um, it's definitely worth it. You will extract more performance out of your projector, but if you can't, just make sure you've got your projector set up as best you possibly can. Now, 
if you've got uh, a screen or a TV, sit as close as you can. You know, the times have changed, you know, and we have been influenced by the theory over seating distances for TVs. But now with high resolution and everything else, you want that cinematic experience. So sit as close as you can to your TV that it's comfortable right move as close as you can to give yourself that cinematic experience so that you have a cinematic feel to what you're watching right now what you might find is your tv is too bright you need to go to your brightness control now this could be called a lot of things it could be backlight it could be picture it could be brightness and you want to turn that up um, until it's just comfortable if it's too bright turn it down now be careful Originally, contrast and brightness, contrast was the amount of uh, uh, light output, so the, the whitest whites, and the black uh, brightness was your black levels. If you're turning up a thing called brightness and your blacks are becoming washed out and, and light gray, then you're adjusting the wrong control. Set it back and go to the one that says either backlight or panel or light or whatever it is that just makes your picture darker or brighter overall and then adjust that on a bright scene and so that it's comfortable. If it's too bright, then it's gonna be uncomfortable to watch the movie, okay? We're not going into technical details here, so this is adjusting your picture. Adjusting your sound, make sure that you've run all of the setups properly on your amplifier, make sure that you've got your levels correct, that all your speakers sound like they're at the same level, use the setup instructions by the manufacturer and perhaps your auto EQ, the room EQ that, you, that comes with it, and then test it again afterwards. And then make sure that all of your speakers do sound the same, especially your Atmos. Make sure that the sound level you're getting from your Atmos is equal to every other speaker in the room. Then make sure your subs are right, okay? Uh, make sure they're not too boomy. Just make sure that you've got lots of detail, you know, and we've got other videos on that and so have other channels. So, control your environment. Get your picture sorted out. Make sure your sound is as good as it can be. Sit as close as you comfortably can. Make sure your picture is not uncomfortably bright with TVs. And guess what? You've just top gunned your cinema. Okay? And, and if you want to go to the extreme, obviously what you can do is build and get designed professionally your own um, private cinema. And, and that's what we do for a living. So, you know, there's all these different levels. Now, the next question is, of course, how patient are you? Of course, you can go to the cinema and you can watch Top Gun and then that's your addiction sorted. Um, you can either not go to the cinema and wait for the streaming or the disc. Me, I'm gonna be waiting for the disc because I wanna see it and hear it at its very, very best in, in a room that you know we have control over and that I, you know, doesn't have crowds of people. So I'm gonna be a patient one, I'm gonna hang in there. Um, so there you go, that's A, which cinema to go and watch Top Gun at or any blockbuster how to basically top gun your room to get a uh, blockbuster experience and then you know basically it's up to you now do you go or do you wait All right either way enjoy your movies okay thank you very much please as always you know for us to keep this channel going it's important to know that people value it so if you could please either like and subscribe and also check out our patreon channel we could use the support this helps us produce videos more often and with better content and of course what we're looking at doing is doing more and more product reviews and getting those to you um, in a completely unbiased fashion so that you know what decisions to make thank you for sticking with us thank you for watching our channel and we'll see you at the movies.